Okay, we're here in the uh, Partner Pavilion at Citrix Energy. Uh, we're in the booth for Cal Virtual, if you see it through that glare. We're here. Uh, go ahead and introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Vipul Bavari. I'm the CTO at Cal Virtual. And uh, we basically are doing uh, uh, virtual infrastructure management solutions. Um, uh, we basically have been working, been around for three years. We've been focusing on providing, uh, you know, a solution set for managing uh, virtual infrastructures. Uh, management in uh, virtualized infrastructures is radically different from using traditional management tools. Uh, so what we are really focused on is that there are new challenges coming uh, with virtualization and uh, how do you help our customers you know, address those challenges. So if you can uh, look at you know, how virtualization gets deployed in, in the enterprise, you know, the first step is to basically help customer identify uh, you know, what is the right virtualization platform you know, for their environment. Uh, for example, you know, today, you know, uh, customers have a choice. You know, is it VMware? Uh, you know, they should use for their workload. Is it uh, Zen Server, Citrix Zen Server? Is it Microsoft? You know, is it Novell? You know, or is it just open source Zen? You know, what are the what is the right platform for their workload? How do you make those decisions? You know, so we basically built some tools to help basically people, you know, visualize. You know, how is it workload going to perform on the, that virtualization platform? You know, what is the right configuration? For that workload in the physical world, uh, you basically have the workload one CPU, one gig. When you go into the virtual world, you know you're going to have you know more choices. Do you want to have two CPUs, two gigs? You know what is the right configuration for your virtualized workload? You know, and how do you make those? So decisions? this helps them, you know, make the right investment in virtualization and then maximize that investment, get That's the right. most out of it. That's right. You know, so you know the things uh, which. Uh, you need to start worrying about is basically, you know, what is the right uh, server configuration for me when I consolidate that, you know, and how do you make those decisions? You know, so that's kind of just the first stage, right? And once you go, you know, uh, you start virtualizing your environment, then you need to start looking at, okay, you know, when do I need to buy more server capacity? You know, because now it's no longer, you know, a server which is, you know, two thousand dollars. You know, you're going to be buying a four CPU, you know, sixty-four gigabit machine. You know, you really need to plan for when do you need to add excess capacity. You know, the decisions are like three months after you virtualize, you have to spin up a new VM. Where are you going to spin that VM, and how do you make the decision? You know, so we now give them visibility. You know, so that they know uh, all the time. You know how the server capacity is being used. You know where they have uh, uh, excess capacity. You know, uh, are there any uh, VM servers sprawl in the environment? How can they shut them down? You know, as well as we allow them to do, uh, you know, load balancing uh, within their environment. You know, recently we've just added, you know, capabilities uh, to trigger Zen motion, you know, right. using our tools. You know, so we basically allow, uh, you know, the users to set up a, a, a policy around uh, Zen motion. You know, so as workload conditions change, you know, VMs can dynamically move. Right. Let, let's jump into the demo because my battery is running low. Sure. All right. So this is our uh, main uh, dashboard view, uh, and what we have done is we basically show, you know, a very, uh, you know, high-level summary. You know, this is how many uh, hosts there are, how many VMs in their environment. You know, what are the host and VM problems in their environment? Everything is drilled down. So anybody who knows how to use a browser will be able to use our tools. You know, so then we basically have most active hosts. You know, this is basically, you know, they, uh, they really need to keep an eye on because this is where they'll need to add more capacity. They're running at very high utilization levels. But what we have done is we have automatically correlated how many VMs are registered, how many are running, if there are any host problems in that environment. You know, then we basically show, you know, least active VMs. So these are basically where you put excess capacity. So when you make, you need to make a decision, where should I spin my next VM? This is where you have got more capacity. Okay, so where would customers go for more information? Well, please visit www.cowcommercial.com, and uh, you know uh, we have a free trial on our website. Uh, you know, uh, download it, and we'd uh, love to talk to you guys soon. All right, thank you so much. Thanks.